Hi and welcome back to my channel. So I know today's title of my video is my son's hair care routine and I promise I will get right into that. But first, I just want to take the time out to thank those who have donated to my GoFundMe. I definitely appreciate each and every donation. I want to thank an anonymous donor who just recently donated this week. So thank you for that. And also stay tuned for any updates on my Facebook and on my Instagram page. I have updates there. I also have a pop-up shop coming, coming September 7th. So be on the lookout for more details about that i also want to say thank you to all of my subscribers those who have started this channel with me and those subscribers that i just gained recently i definitely appreciate everyone's support i thank you for watching my videos i thank you for the comments i thank you for the likes and the shares and all of that so thank you so much to all of my subscribers and all of my future subscribers as well and that's all i want to say i just wanted to come on here real quickly express my gratitude thank you for watching my videos and now let's get right into the video Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Tashima and today I am showing how I cut my son's hair, Matthias. Um, I don't cut his hair that often, probably about every three months or so. But today I'm cutting his hair just because I like my boy's hair super short. And um, he, the first time I cut his hair I used clippers but I really didn't like the way it looked. Um, and he didn't really like the way they felt on his head. So. I bought some hair shears, I bought some scissors, and I've been cutting his hair that way. So this is only like the third time that I've cut it that way. So right here I'm just combing his hair out, just making sure that it's tangle free. I just sprayed a little bit of water that was what was in the water bottle, just a little bit of water. So I'm just combing his hair out, making sure that it's standing straight up. So the night before to prepare, I just washed his hair in the tub when he took his bath and you know let it air dry and then this is me cutting his hair actually the next day so I wash his hair monthly as well and whenever he takes a bath I just spray oil on it at nighttime and brush it and that's his hair care routine I mean his is pretty simple because his hair is cut so low most of the time but yeah that's what we do on a weekly and monthly basis and now I'm starting to cut. So I'm just cutting in the way that the hair grows. So for the front, I'm cutting down towards his face and the sides I cut down towards the side. And then in the back, you'll see later on in the video, I just cut down that way as well. So I try to go with the grain and cut in the way that the hair actually grows. And if I haven't stated this already, these are actual hair shears. They're not kitchen scissors, they're not paper scissors. I bought these specifically to cut hair. That's what they're designed for. And I only use them to cut hair, well, his hair. So that's what I use these scissors for. It's the only thing that they cut is hair. So I'm just gonna speed this process up a little bit. It really doesn't take too long to cut his hair, probably 20 minutes with me just having to reposition him and remind him to keep his head down or keep his head to the side or whatever. Um, but it doesn't take too long and he's just eating his lunch right now, having a snack or whatever, watching a movie on TV and, and yeah, it's pretty much an easy job. And he just sits there and lets me cut his hair. loves looking at the camera like count how many times this boy turns his head to look at the camera oh my gosh <laughs> Thank you. 
so now I'm doing the sides. I just turned him around a little bit so I can get it a little bit better. And just being really careful around his ears and being mindful that, you know, these scissors are sharp, but I'm being really careful, I promise you. directing him to put his head down again but yeah it was a little hard to do the back just because he also has like or the way his head is shaped in the back but I got it eventually I tried to do it as quickly as possible because he did not like being in this position here's Saya trying to help me brush the hair off of him but I had to tell her to stop that I got it because I didn't want to accidentally cut her with the scissors so yeah she's very helpful <laughs> So now I'm just going over things, just making sure that it's even out, making sure that I got all the loose hairs and all the scraggly parts that were kind of still sticking out or maybe it wasn't even. Um, and I cut his hair myself because I just really want to be self-sufficient and I want to be able to cut his hair and know how to cut his hair and when he gets older be able to do, you know, more complicated hairstyles as well or haircuts on him as well. I don't mess with his hairline. I feel like for right now this is fine but as he gets older I'll teach myself how to do that too so I really do enjoy cutting his hair just because it's you know something new to learn and I like the way that it turns out So I'm all done cutting. I'm just spraying it with the water again. And then brushing it to get any of the loose hairs that may have not fallen down on his shirt. Just brushing out any of the loose hairs that I had already cut. And now I'm just taking my hair oil, which is the same oil I use for myself and for Saya. I use that, spraying in his hair, a little more water, and just brushing that down as well. So I am all done just brushing off all of the loose hair and this is the haircut. So it's as low as I can get it with the scissors which is fine. Baby Kenzo's messing with the sand. But yeah, so this is it. This is how it typically looks and I'll probably cut it again in another three months or so. Probably right before winter. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.